Hello and welcome back to Snow Runner and our hard mode series. Avoid me, still in the dam. And we are moving logs. That's what we are supposed to be doing. Now, I think last time out I said that we would go and get some fuel before we have to start heading uh, down into the islands, island lakes. We have to take four lots of long logs. Uh, into Island Lake. I'm not taking this at a very good angle, am I? Uh, we've got to take, yeah, four lots of long logs into Island Lake. I believe, anyway, I've just topped up fuel when we left off. Uh, for me, that was a little while ago. Just got over my bout of the plague, so I'm now back. Um, yeah, I think I can get, well, at least, we can get at least to our logging station, fill up some long logs and probably part way back through here so i'm going to try and do that now i think i'm going to get the land rover that's got fuel on it so we'll then fill up from the land rover and then use the land rover to go and get one of the small fuel trailers that are scattered about and i'll just start ferrying that around with us as we go i think rather than trying to move all the larger fuel tankers and and what have you the Land Rover is easier to get around. It'll be quicker, hopefully, doing it this way. So that's our plan going forwards. We're going to keep pushing on with our long logs. Like I say, four lots of long logs uh, to cover two jobs. I'll show you them as we uh, as we get ready to do them, just to you know confirm what it is. I think if I bring it up, we can see we've got two long logs here at the uh, top of this one to the sawmill. And then we have another job, which is uh, still has two long logs into Island Lakes. And then all the rest of our log deliveries are um, medium logs. Now I think once once we get these this first lot into Island Lake, I <clears throat> see I was, I was torn on this before when I was thinking I could then go from island lake into drummond island because you can get long logs there but i th i think i will get stuck not everyone would get stuck but i think i will get stuck doing that so i don't think i will i'll i think i'll just have to keep ferrying the long distance to be safe or to be safer because we've still then got to get you know our p16 all the way through what i like to keep calling the swamp down in this um over there. It's, I think that's the south. Does it count? Yeah, it's the south. In the south of um, the dam. So it's still not going to be easy. We've still got a lot of work to do. Still got a lot of work to do. But we are soldiering on. Like I say, we will do this. We will do this until we run out of money. <laughs> it's, that, it's that simple. We'll, we'll go to fail. But hopefully we won't fail. Hopefully. We'll get into Alaska, and Alaska will be a little bit smoother somehow. I don't know how, but hopefully it will. Better planned out, better thought out. Thing is, it's now been a year since I was last in Alaska. So what I did in Alaska has completely left my memory. Hopefully I'll, we'll get some <laughs> flashbacks from Deja Vu when we're there. Well, yet to be seen. Skip that just to try and save a few seconds. Not get back and forth through the river yet. We've got to load it up yet. Um, you know, as things are going, we're pretty much doing one delivery a video or one 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 delivery a day, which you know is making it feel like it's dragging out. But I can't physically do it any quicker. I don't know how we could try and do it any quicker. Like I say, maybe maybe the Drummond Island route would be, like I say, it would be quicker. But I think the risk of me getting stuck and getting frustrated is so much greater, so much greater. Plus, I don't think I have any fuel going that way because the fuel in Drummond is near the exit of Drummond, and the fuel that we had in. 
Island Lakes is now um, the other side of the tunnel from Island Lakes into the dam. I don't think I have any fuel left up at the top of Island Lakes, but we'll have a look. When we get this first delivery in there, we'll have a look. And then maybe when we've got our final lot of long logs to deliver, we'll attempt it from Drummond. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. And then we've got about 30, <laughs> 30 loads of medium logs to deliver everywhere. But that should be that should be easier. But I, I don't think we're going to have all the fuel we need for that. We're going to have to be buying fuel, which is going to be insane. Which means we're not going to have fuel to take through to Alaska. And then in turn means we're probably not going to have fuel to take into Russia. Which is scary because fuel in Russia is really, really expensive. Plus we have to buy some new trucks in Russia because we're using... Uh, Russian and Eurasian trucks over there. And obviously we don't have any yet. It's all, all very challenging. And as always, thank you very much for those that are sticking with me and, and joining me on this journey and continue to put up with it. <laughs> Legends you are. and do this with it with a low gear I knew if I went for the wind she would go for the one I didn't want so if we pull ourselves through a little bit Still beautiful. It'll just be nice to see something else. <laughs> How many times have we gone across this bit of river? Too many. I'm trying not to clip the trees that I might want at a later date. Come on, them wheels are straight. I think every time I find a new way to, to get myself stuck. How has this happened? Come on. It just does not like moving. If those fr once, once you're in mud just does not like moving unless those wheels are straight. It will not push. Just sort of wiggle it a bit and try and move it over. Just burn it. Honestly, if we weren't worried about fuel, I don't think I would have any issues. I swear the game is giving me issues because I'm concerned about fuel. And that's it. Come on. This is... Look. Honestly, we get stuck places I have never, ever been stuck before. In five years of playing this game, the number of times I've done Michigan. Look, we're just not moving now. How is, how is this now a thing that we're dealing with? Having to reverse back into it to try and get out of it. And we're now stuck on the post. That's going to count as clipping. That 
there's a, there's a rock now in front of me. <laughs> what has happened? What the hell has happened? Like this five minutes and obviously are getting back. <laughs> it's, just, it's just absurd. Absolutely absurd. I'm seriously considering <laughs> taking the loss, selling this and just getting the mod version. It's just it's so underperforming all the time. It's crazy. Now it's getting pushed about by, by a little sign. It, nuts. Absolutely nuts. Oh dear. It's going to be that sort of episode, isn't it? It's going to get stuck today. We're going to lose our logs. I can feel it. <clears throat> if we can't get through that river, empty. How am I ever getting through the swamp? Back and forth. Four times. So eight trips. Not happening. I feel like it's getting dark already as well. I know it's raining, but we started a little bit before eight. It's already 20 bars one. We've not even loaded up yet. <laughs> we spent that long stuck in the river. Now, if I remember rightly, there is no more fuel here. We have a few little repair parts, I believe, but no more fuel. Let's just check. Yeah, that is out of fuel. So we're just going to see if... Does it need any? No, that's all right. We're good. Okay, I was just wanting sure. Oh, <laughs> wrong button entirely. Okay. <laughs> Let's get our logs. Two. Give me two. Now our white western is starting to bury in the mud if I remember rightly. Though. 
symbols. Symbols. Why do they not all go so well? Hey. Yeah, we want to pack our cargo. And before we leave, I want to try and scoop up the Land Rover. Which I think is up over there somewhere. Again, we're being treated to the turn and circle of a jumbo jet. <laughs> uh, just normal, normal, normal. Let's go. I'd love to be able to stick this in high and just let it, you know, cruise a little bit, but it just does not work that way. Not in the mud. And again, I think our river is getting harder to cross because although we're coming in and obviously in and out of the save, because we are often weeks apart between recordings, it, our terrain isn't reset. And we've covered this many times and talked about it. Like, exit in the game and exit in the map, you know, supposedly resets the terrain. But my terrain definitely <laughs> stays churned up. For weeks and months. <laughs> oh, struggling again. Come on. Let's get out there. Let's do your thing. Be the monster we know you are. Lovely. Making moves. It's even sometimes here, so oh, it'd be nice. Hit it with a bit, of, bit of pace, a bit of speed, and sort of carry momentum. But more often is the case, you just get stuck and bury yourself a bit more. All right, let's see if we can. We'll take that. Well, it's just going to block us. Oh, come on. He's down this left hand side, or down what's now our left hand side. I think we've gone down that so much, but that's why we're getting that so much of a tilt. Like, we've really worn that track. It's not good. Not to get caught on that root cluster. Just over half a tank of fuel left. Oh. 
we'll come back to Fuel Watch 2024. Where we just watch it deplete. <laughs> Starting to scare me. I'm all inch over there, I want to inch in front, thank you very much. Come on. Start slipping on me now. See, now this little bit would be nice if we could just do high gear and sort of cruise this a bit. Save us a litre. And sometimes, as soon as we uh, hit a slight incline, or a slight patch of muck, <laughs> we just grind down to a halt and start to stall. We need to move on to some different jobs and some different vehicles because all my thumbnails are starting to look the same. It's the P16 pulling logs. Won't mind them tires. Mind them tires. No more punctures, please. So we're, we're using less fuel, but we are not travelling very quick. It's the swings and roundabouts of it all, isn't it? It really is. So we'll park up in our travel spot. Land Rover. Loads of, <laughs> loads of fuel. Right. We will take out our camel. Is there a there's not a fuel one here is there no right but we have one I think we've got two actually over in 
um, words to my brain would be great. Over in the dam, over in Smithville. Shame we haven't got a trailer that can pull logs, because I would be able to, to boss those logs with this. <laughs> As much as I really want to get the the load star into Alaska, I just think I'm going to have to stick with this for a bit, just to save money. Plus, I know this can, you know, vary about the fuel I want. If we've got a um, trailer scouts available there. There must be one somewhere that we can grab and do a few little deliveries with first. You would think. Good old Landy. This is how you get through the river. Look at that. Nice and quick. It is a beast. I'm glad I made the decision to um, use some mods on this series and pick this one as my first vehicle, being the only one that would actually manage to work into the game so far. This has been great. It is a little bit battered and abused, no doubt. And she's been through some wars. And she gets it done for us. Most of the time, I think it's the only vehicle I worry about going too fast in. <laughs> the rest of my life, I just like to go fast all the time. This is a little bit easier to do some in care. The Lambie. into the Pacific and we'll go from the roof rack. Oops. 
some other... Oh, we've got a star engine, haven't we? I always forget. There we go. Pull it through. Try and get into Island Lake. Let's try and make our way down there. Can we get there before our 24 hours is up? We're already halfway through our 24 hours, I think. Is Cray Zay. We are on the right job, aren't we? Because this would tell me it could back through. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. That's, I think it's just reminding me to get the medium logs, that's what that is. And again, we haven't received any sort of payment for quite a while because we're, t we're doing long logs first. And then as we slowly tick through the uh, medium logs, we'll start to get payment for different things eventually. I think the only one that we got payment for was when we delivered logs down to the quarry and then to uh, the drilling site. Because I think that was the only one that required to two long logs as a job. We do still have two timed challenges here as well, and I thought we'd done them, but we haven't, because they're still there on the list. Uh, delivering server, three lots of server spare parts from the service station over there to the farm, and then there's another one that's delivering, I think it's bricks or cement blocks or something uh, from the... I want to say factory, but I don't think it's the factory, but the the site that's sort of in the middle of the map, the other side of the dam, up to a house up um, by the other factory, by the uh, Drummond Island entrance. The Drummond Island run entrance one, um, the bricks. That's called um, New Nest or The Nest. Uh, that's an in-cab run as well. That's what made me think we'd done that. I thought we had. I know we went the other way, didn't we? We did the... Down into the swamp, to that house. We did that job. Slow down and take it wide. Beautiful, beautiful.
And in doing this, again, we've got to get up and down. Not all, obviously not all the way down at the quarry, but up and down that quarry entranceway. Which is an absolute bizarre as well. On our route back, we might cut through the center island. That might be easier with an empty load. I don't think I'd want to do that with the full load though. But then that takes us through to the thick mud that runs sort of through the middle of the map. Which I definitely don't want to get stuck in. So it's just all, all bad routes for heavy loads. All bad routes for heavy loads. Best yet, we're going to be doing most of it in the dark. Which always works out so well for us. Right. Just think, wish me luck. <laughs> wish me luck. I need more than luck. I need some skill. Then we'll go low gear and control the set. We don't need to rush as much as I'd like to rush it and get these deliveries done quicker. I don't need to. I need to be controlled. Because I know this is going to be tight. Way too tight for my comfort. Oh dear. Mindful of the terrain angles as we come through. Or we'll trying to be, at least. Now it's the slog through the bog. <laughs> there we go. The thing is, this shouldn't be... Hmm, he says as he grinds to a halt already. This shouldn't be hard. It's just going to be slow, I think. We need to reach the other side before sunrise. <laughs> that would be nice, please, and thank you. Try and stick to where we're going to have the most winch points should we get stuck as well. I think we can up our gear. Can we give it a little bit here? It's quite shallow and flat. It's just the gear, it's the, those gear changes. That's what screw you, the gear changes on a heavy load.
I mean, it's extremely late to ask for additions, but to be able to pick the specific gear and to be able to stick in it, that would be nice. I know we have like low, low one, low two, but you have to get to them. You want a gearbox that you can use straight away. So you can be right, we're just going to stick it in fourth. And then as we feel it get better, right, we're going to stick it in fifth and hold it. Rather than sort of the, the game and the vehicle deciding, oh, you're going up a gear, you're going down a gear, you're going up a gear, you're going down a gear. I mean, through here we may even find that having the logs helps us get through a bit quicker because the weight you know creates traction sometimes when the p16 is empty towing the empty trailer is when it's it's most difficult i think although it's a big heavy truck in its own right No, I want that one in front of me, please. Thank you, thank you. Oh, we've gone straight on to a root cluster. So I'm going to have to go out. Go back again. I'm going to winch me to it. I don't want to winch to it. I want to winch to the post. But I don't want to have to stop the vehicle. I don't want to have to stop the truck and start sinking to be able to attach my winch. What I was hoping to do is go around the inside of that. Come on. Now I think we got through that whole boggy swamp section quicker than we got through the river off the other end when we were empty. Just this final little bit where you're sort of buried as you come out because it is so deep. It's just waiting to find that dry bit. Come on. Can you tell me we've got nowhere to attach to? Hmm. Nothing at all anywhere. Well, that's just feeling a bit naughty, that. Let's see if we can get up on there. That looks a little better. That's it. Straighten them wheels out. And we should... 
of our large fuel trailer. Pretty much where the uh, the travel marker is. And we've got a small fuel trailer there that we'll probably end up using with the, uh, the landy. Let's see if we can get a little bit closer to our delivery point. Fair bit of fuel in here. There's more than enough in there to fill one of our small fuel trailers. No, yeah, our regular smaller fuel trailers. Skip that. So we are dropping off. Oh, we've got sawmill and log station. So I think we'll do our first. We've got two to the log station and two to the saw. Are we? Oh no. Thus, we can pick up mediums, I think, from there. Yeah. So we're dropping off at the sawmill. The lumber mill. Is that lumber mill? Sawmill. Lumber mill. Saw. Yeah. The fun bit about this is we've got the double bridge to try and get over. We have to try and track this round with the, <laughs> the big truck. The big truck. Can you tell that the game is slowly sending me a little bit crazy? Not even slowly, it's just sending me crazy. It's been a long time since we've been in here, so I'd like to think that any of the nastiness that we created has cleared up. But I doubt that it has. I should imagine we've still got some pretty horrific tracks from where I've churned it up. Now we want to try and, like I said, we want to try and get your front left, right on the edge. Ooh, that's a little bit too much on the edge. We might have to go back a little. So we went pretty wide. I gave myself plenty of space with that, so that's not too bad. And for many, that's that's considered like the hard bit of this delivery route is that bridge. Our hard bit is the <laughs> is the river crossing. It's insane. Right, one load. Now we have to go back and get some more. So we did get one delivery in, which is great. I was concerned that we weren't even going to get one delivery. So what would be good is if we can at least get back across. This isn't going to be a very good turn, is it? If we can get back across the dam... If we get back to Black River, that'd be awesome. I don't think we will. But if we get near there. 
Oh, the turn and circle on this is just so horrific. It's just... It's embarrassing. Not for me. It's embarrassing for the P16. That it requires such a wide turn and circle. Now, coming back in and out of here, if we've got four to deliver here again, it could end up being an absolute cluster around here. So we may even have to have a delivery go the long way around to ensure that we um, get it all done nicely. Just look at that. Look how deep that is. Now that's not standard. I'm sure that's from where we've churned it up. And again today, we'll try and aim to finish our run around about 7. I think it was about 20 past 7 last time. So we'll try and try and finish around about 7 to give us what I consider more daylight. It's the same amount of daylight, but it seems more productive daylight if it's at the start as opposed to at the end. Let's get going. Let's get going. What is the time? It's five. It's five. I think we've got about six, six minutes. I'm probably not actually going to be able to cross the swamp. I don't want to get stuck in the swamp, really. So, I am going to refuel here and move myself out of the way. So that that's ready. Turn everything off. And then we should have our Land Rover. And we'll see how close or how far down we can get this in 10 minutes. Now, Land Rover should be better at going down here. So let's do that. <laughs> it should be better going that way than all the other trucks. And if it does roll, it, I think it's got not, it should have an autonomous winch on it so we can bring it back up. A tactical roll, as it's called. I mean, we won't get far. We've only got like four minutes. Let's do what we can. because we also need to bring fuel back um, so we can move the uh, White Western Star and we need to be able to move the uh, Kodiak as well. How I'm going to get them out of there, I do not know, because they are pretty bogged down now. But we'll deal with that in about four episodes time. I wonder if our big hole that the P-16 dug, I wonder if that'll still be there. It's every chance that it is. There's where the um, Bleak Star decided to roll on us. 
<laughs> Landy's got stuck on a twig. Standard. Honestly, this route has been more brutal again than I've ever experienced in four years. So just down here is where our hole was. And it's still there, look. It hasn't it hasn't reset, it hasn't fixed in all the time since we did that. Plus the hole that the P16 caused. Now, that was about 40 episodes ago. How has that not reset? <laughs> My terrain does not reset. As much as everyone likes to tell me that it resets when you leave your map and it resets when you leave your save, my terrain is not resetting. It is saving and it is brutal. Whoa, 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 why are you driving into a tree? That weren't me. Just get across to the centre part. I absolutely love this. I love this truck. I love this little truck. But that, my friends, is going to be it. It is now 20. It's exactly the time that we started. So that's perfect. 28. Uh, 728. Um, so yeah, that's going to be it. So we start on the next one. We will go and hook up the small fuel trailer. We'll put some fuel in it. And I'll probably cart that back up, I think. I think that's what I'll do. And then, um, yeah, then we'll get the P16 back and get another load of logs. Hopefully we'll be able to do that one delivery in the same episode. So hopefully, you've been, hopefully you have enjoyed this one. If you have... Give a big fat thumbs up down below. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Turn the bell notification on. Find out when the videos come alive. As always, comments and feedback down there. Again, thank you so much for sticking with me on this series. It is a long one. It is a slow one. We're going to be playing this game for a long time. Get used to it on the channel. And I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.